everybody, my name is Luke Mar. this is Hot La Mode, and today we are going to be talking about some of the fashion books that I have been reading, not recently, but some recently, some not recently, depends on the skewer of time and the timeline of my life. So I just thought it would be good to show you guys what I actually have been reading throughout like my time learning about fashion. And so why don't we just get right into the first one. And it was one of the first ones that I ever got and it was Vogue Through the Covers. And so it's a book which I think is curated by Hamish Bowles, who I don't know if he still is, but he was the editor at large at Vogue magazine, American Vogue. And so he kind of went through all of the archives of Vogue and picked out what were the most influential covers that, you know, kind of reflected the culture of Vogue and the culture that was, that Vogue kind of detailed. And so I find it like a very interesting book because it goes through different sections. So it goes through like the 1910s to the 1930s to the 50s and all of these different kind of eras and so if you've ever seen The Editor's Eye which is a documentary on the different fashion editors from American Vogue you would kind of like understand and be able to appreciate this book. I think it's great if you want to learn more about Vogue the magazine but also the history of magazines and the history of kind of current culture like the modern culture that we have. So the next book is The World's Most Influential Fashion Designers by Noel Palomo Levinsky. Um, this is actually a really, really great book. It is a detailed, detailed little index or like glossary of a bunch of fashion designers. So not only just like people that like, you know, it doesn't, ha it doesn't have the most recent people. It doesn't have like Alessandra Michele or like Olivia Roosting. Not that you would want to have Olivia, but like whatever. But it has like great pages all about like people like Azadine Alaya, Vivian Westwood, Issey Miyake, um, and then some people that you probably like wouldn't even know like Claudette Montana, who I don't know, Claire McDowell, Adrian. Like it, it's actually very interesting. Um, it's a good read if you want to learn about like how the fashion industry kind of started and, and like different people that we're kind of used to, so like you've all like heard of Vivian Westwood, but like have you heard of Jeffrey Bean or like um, Charles James or like people like that, like have you heard, of, like you haven't, I haven't heard, like I didn't first hear those people, so it's good to like have this book because it teaches you a bunch of like different people that you would never really know and the people that you do know, it gives you kind of a great background and it also gives a timeline of some of like the most influential things that those designers did so like Vivian Westwood's talks about Naomi Campbell's like fall on the runway because of the sky high heels so it's it's a good little fashion like textbook um, excuse me next is the Alexander McQueen Savage Beauty book which is a book that details the Met exhibition that was about Alexander McQueen after his death in 2010 and I think the exhibition was 2011, so this must have come out in that time frame. Um, I just love this book because it has some of McQueen's most like influential pieces, and it a discusses how McQueen was influential as a designer, or, like the way that he kind of transposed the fashion industry. And I'm sure everybody would be like, Alexander McQueen is my favorite designer, and like I, it, he's an amazing, he was an amazing designer. And so this is just a great book that kind of goes through and shows you the best pieces, the best of the best, and some really great like quotes that are actually fucking crazy. Like there's one where he's talking about how like one of the collections he said that the girl like for like the girl that was embodying the collection was like came out of a tree and like now she's a princess because she came out of a tree and it's just like where else would you hear these things? Where else would you read that ever? So I just think it's a really beautiful, beautiful book and it has some great imagery. Even like the mannequins that they put the clothing on, just like, it, it's great. You guys should pick it up if you get the chance. Um, going from one Met exhibition to the next, I also have just recently picked up the Manus Ex Machina book. 
I was there with my dad the other day. I didn't get to go through the whole exhibit just because we got there kind of late, like 4.30 and the museum closes at 5.30 and they were like, you have to leave at 5.10. And so I was like, God damn it. So like I got through the whole of the top and so I was kind of getting to the bottom, but I didn't get through it. But this book actually details the different um, trades that are discussed throughout the exhibition and that's what the exhibition is based on. It is based on the six trades that have kind of a have a really historical value so like things like embroidery leather work flower making all those kinds of different things and how they were done and how they are now done and so it's i haven't really been through the book unfortunately but i can't wait i'm gonna go to the exhibit again sometime this week or sometimes next week and then i'm going to read the book and it also has this really, I only just discovered this before I started filming. It has this book in the back of it, and it's a bunch of interviews from Andrew Bolton, who was the curator of the part of the museum that is the Costume Institute, with um, designers like Sarah Burton, Chilean, um, Maria Grazia Ciuri, and Pierpaolo Piccioli. Um, Nicholas Gesquet, and then the guys from Proenza, and all the different people that are featured very heavily in the exhibit. So that's a great book that if you guys get a chance to get to the Met, or if you don't get the chance, still pick up the book because you're gonna learn so much and you're gonna see all this stuff, it's just you won't see it in real life. Which kind of sucks because seeing this stuff in real life is really awesome. Like seeing the Prada dresses, I literally was dying. But, you know, nonetheless. Um, and then we have, this is Electra Chung's It which is a memoir by Alexa Chung, who is really just like a socialite gal pal. I'm sure you've all like heard of her. She did a really, really awesome documentary that she's, I think she's gonna continue to do with British Vogue and it's called The Future of Fashion. And it's just kind of like discussing all the different parts of the fashion industry that you don't really see. And so I thought it was a really great thing that she's done. She's like, she goes to every single show. She really loves the fashion industry and I think like, all, like when I was in high school, like like sophomore, junior year, like everybody was fucking obsessed with Alexa Chung because she was like this crazy girl that just didn't care. She still doesn't care. But like she was really big like when I was in high school. But um, so yeah, it, it's I haven't been through the whole thing. That's the thing, I haven't been through like all of these books because I get super bored reading. But um, it wasn't even, this book isn't even really that expensive either, so. I say you should just pick it up, like the little paperback copy, and it's just like, it's like a picture book, and it just like, it gives you like also little things, like here's like a picture of Twiggy, and like, it's fun, and like, it's like literally so easy to read too. So, pick up It by Alexa Chung. Um, finally, not finally, second to finally, um, I have Patrick Demarchandier's book. It is just kind of this big picture book, it's like a coffee table book. It just has some of like his really most influential photos. And it's not just like his fashion pictures. It's like there are some wildlife pictures in here. There are some portraits that he's done. So like he has shot like Roger Federer and like he was like a big Princess Diana of Wales, like, you know, taker of photos. So there's like a lot of different stuff. And some of his most like influential, um, what's it called? Vogue pictures that he's done. I really enjoy this book. It's nice just to like have it. It's a good like detail of like some really good Vogue pictures too. Um, and so like I think my favorite picture is this one maybe because I've seen it. And I'm sure you guys have probably seen this picture before, but it is one of the pictures from the September issue in which Grace Coddington, who was the creative director of Vogue, was fighting and saying that she didn't want um, the Photoshop guys to Photoshop the cameraman's stomach down. And so I think that's a perfect segue into Grace, a memoir, which is something that I'm currently reading. I did not buy this, I stole it from my friend Michael, who he doesn't know where he got it. It's like signed by somebody, and I don't think it's Grace though, it's signed by somebody though. Mary Mary, I, I don't even know who this is for. It's like signed by somebody named Marcy too, so that's not Grace. But anyway, 
Um, it's a book. It's, you know, it's great. I am currently reading it. It's just like a memoir of Grace Coddington's life and she's super fucking funny. Um, I love her. She's like talking about how she like, you know, like, and also she talks about all of these fashion industry people and like all of these crazy different things. And I just say I love listening to people who are prominent in the fashion industry speak about not fashion, but about like just the going goings on of fashion. So she's talking about how like when she was younger, they used to like hang out with like Karl Lagerfeld and Pat Cleveland and like Manolo Blahnik. And so it's like, it's crazy. It's a really good book if you want to learn, if you like, like the fashion industry kind of like social circles, which I really find interesting, you should definitely check this book out. And Grace is just amazing. And there's some really good cute pictures of Grace in it too. And she just talks about like how she kind of found herself as like a creative director and as an editor. And it's cool, I, I really enjoy it. And so, with that, this video is done. I know like all my videos are super long now and I apologize for that, but deuces, yo. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link these books. I will find like the links to them and put them in the description below. Wait, um, put them in the description below, so don't worry. And I will be seeing you guys very soon. Don't worry, I'm gonna like be killing it with these vids. I'm out here. I think I'm going to just talking about the Insta girls or like people are calling them the Nepo girls, but I don't even know what that means. So I'll, I'll look that up. But I think I'm going to talk about them for the next video. So get ready because I'm about to spill some tea up in here. So yeah. All right. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want, you could like hit that like button and you could subscribe. And I'm also illiterate. Um, so yeah. Let me just say T T Y. Oh.